My name is Nurban. I'm a software engineer at Oracle. Um, if it involves spatial and MySQL, I'm usually involved, um, unless it's actual math, because then there's someone from working on Boost Geometry. Uh, we use Boost Geometry as a library. Um, and I do everything on, um, well, I'm involved in everything on the MySQL side. So uh, MySQL 8 is not out yet. We have release candidate number two out. Uh, anything I say won't be used against me because it's still just a release candidate. The final release is coming in a couple of months. So uh, I'm really excited about this. We have really achieved a lot. Um, the main thing is geography. So I'm going to talk today about a little about coordinate, ref coordinate reference systems, uh, what we support there. Uh, I'll focus on geography. And I made it uh, a thing to always talk about upgrade issues because then no one can complain afterwards that, oh, but you didn't tell us this was hard when upgrading. So uh, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to show a demo of, of some things and show live MySQL things, mostly. So let's get started. Um, MySQL supports several spatial reference systems now. Uh, we didn't before. This is the first version where, where we actually have a table of, of reference systems. I can show you this in MySQL. Um, can you read this? So, um, we have 5,108 reference systems in MySQL. We can look at one of them. Like this. So this is the GPS coordinate system. Uh, I'll get back to that, but just switch back to the slides for a bit. We have 5,108. 5,107 of them are from the EPSG datasets, the latest version of that. Um, the final one is the uh, abstract uh, Cartesian uh, coordinate system with no units on either axis, SRD0, that we have supported for multiple versions. Um, that was the, the only thing that MySQL 5.7 understood. Uh, that is the root of almost all of our upgrade issues, because MySQL just, uh, 5 7 just ignored the SRD uh, instead of saying, no, no, this is bad, only use zero. So if you did something else than zero in MySQL 5 7, you're up for some funny upgrades. Um, MySQL 8 will refuse to do computations unless it knows the definition. So in 5 7, it wouldn't care. But here, select, let's do a no op more or less. Text geom from text point zero zero um, SRD one, which is not defined. So this is a non existing SRD. And well, uh, yeah, I can do that. And you see the error. There's no, put a bit up, there's no uh, address with ID one. So MySQL won't even create that point for you. Um, in 5.7, it would do that. And that's, as I said, the root of a lot of problems. Yeah, we have projections as well. We can show you that. Um, uh, SRE3857, the Web Mercator projections. So this is Google Maps and Bing Maps and OpenStreetMap in a lot of cases. Um, this is, well, standard compliant uh, a definition. Um, the uh, a thing to note is if you want to create your own is that we don't care about these text strings or anything. We only care about author oh, sorry. these authority codes saying, yeah, this is that type of, of parameter. This is this and that. So the numbers and the strings are just human information. Um, our corner systems are, let's look at the 4326 again. 
One thing to notice is that it says axis, axis latitude, axis longitude. Because this is from the EPSD. It's latitude, longitude, in that order. And we are standard compliant in that we follow the, the axis order defined in the spatial reference system. Which means my school will assume that when you're entering a point in this, it's latitude, longitude. You can, of course, create your own to, uh, to fix that problem. So create spatial reference system. Uh, Spatial. Spatial reference system. Let's just define number one. Uh, it needs a name. Nobody cares. Uh, my school doesn't care, at least. Uh, and here's the definition. And we can do the same thing as this one. Um, like that. Uh, and we say longitude east and new axis um, latitude north. Finish that. And we get a warning saying that this range of SRDs is reserved by the EPSD. Well, by my school in this case, but we do it because EPSD is research it. So please don't meddle with this, but this is a demo. I can do whatever I like. So, but please don't touch these ranges that we have reserved because MySQL upgrade might just overwrite your data or something like that. Uh, so now we have a spatial reference system that is just the same as um, the uh, 426, but the axis order is different. So I can show you a, for instance, the uh, the length of a string in these systems. That's right. Let's do this in 426. That is um, latitude longitude, so it means from this is at longitude zero, so this is the Greenwich meridian, um, from latitude zero, equator, to one degree north. That's the length in meters of, of that line. Uh, so if you mix up the axis orders, this is now it's longitude latitude, and we see that it's slightly longer. Um, of course, some systems do produce latitude longitude, some produce longitude latitude, and we know that, so we allow you to override it, set the axis order to longitude latitude. So this is uh, really a latitude longitude system, but I override it and say that this is longitude latitude input. And the formatting is really off in this sm small terminal, but it's the same result as we got for SRD0, which, which I defined as longitude latitude. Okay. Um, yeah. So, as I said, projections are supported. Uh, there's nothing fun about those. It's Cartesian, so we had the math already. Nothing new. Geography is a new thing. And we were told that the Earth is not flat uh, in 5.7. And um, instead of trying to prove that it is flat, we just decided that we should change our model. Um, we haven't tried to make a rocket to, to prove that it's flat. Although, if you want to create a flat Earth, you can do something very similar. You can create an ellipsoid that is so flat that it has an <laughs> upside and downside. Um, because you can create any type of ellipsoid as long as the east-west axis is longer than the north-south axis. Um, actually, the, the WKT specification for, for um, 
uh, ellipsoids doesn't allow you to specify anything else. Um, it's a limitation on the format. I'm not a really bad limitation because Earth is Earth. So, uh, and we would calculate things on this. Um, I can create a Earth that is really small, and I will get the the, uh, the uh, computation for that. So let me show you. Where was my SRD one there? Uh, Tether two, but instead of where's my spheroid? Let's make my spheroid um, slightly smaller. Uh, one digit less in the distance there. Um, no, sorry, I use the same name for two special spatial reference systems. Uh, that's not allowed. Too bad the standards are, are, are strict on that. Um, do the length again. Now I can do this on SRID 2, which is much smaller Earth. And we really see that the distance now is like 11 kilometers instead of 111. Uh, so my school really uh, takes the account, into account the size of your ellipsoid. Unlike some other sp um, spatially enabled open source dat relational database management systems that only do 4326 uh, SRDs. So we have the full thing. Any type of geometry, polygons, geometry collections, anything. Um, and we index it. So we have geographic indexes in, in ODB. If you are still using my ISOM for geographic data in my school, then drink the cooler, get with the program, and start using InnoDB. Because we, we don't bother with adding stuff to my Use InnoDB. And yeah, the SRD is what decides if it's geographic or projected. There's no geog from text. There's geom from text. As I showed you earlier, in, yeah, in this query, for instance, there's Geom. There's no spe special type for geography because the SRD just decides this. As in the standard specification, it's all geometries, whether it's Cartesian or, or geographic. So just put a, a geographic SRD in here, and it's on an ellipsoid. Um, we have a lot of functions that support geography at the moment. Um, especially all the spatial relations, like within, contains, overlaps. Anything that can make use of the R tree. Uh, we have length, but distance between points. Um, the next talk is about distance, I think, in boost geometry. And uh, we are waiting for boost to support anti geometry to anti geometry distance before we add it to my school. Um, but uh, it's coming. And um, so we add this piece by piece. So for instance, union intersection, that's missing at the moment. They will come. Uh, if you have a very strong need for a convex hull on uh, an ellipsoid, talk to me. I haven't heard of a real use case. But uh, if you have it, talk to me. We can try to bump it up the priority list. But we will try to go through things as we see what people need. Um, so we, we're covering the basics, and then we are, are adding things uh, as people, kind of, um, the market requests it. Um, some functions only make sense in Cartesian or geographic settings. Some functions like endpoint, start point, they don't really care. Um, so it won't take too long before we have, have added to this to, uh, to like a union intersection, I think. Um, and then there's uh, convex hull and, and, and that kind of thing, which is we want to see a use case as well before we spend a lot of time with it. Um, any questions on, on what we support here uh, before I go on to the upgrade issues? Any questions on, on what we are able to do in, in Montreal? Yeah. Uh, can you repeat that, please? DB scan? 
Oh, yeah. Uh, clustering function. No, we don't have any clustering arguments at the moment. Sorry. Yes? Raster support. No, we don't have raster support at the moment. Only vector support. Um, I know all these uh, guys with satellites want to add raster support, but uh, we don't have it yet. It's still new. We started really in 5.7 to expand this. So the big thing now is geography. And uh, please come to us with requests for, for features, uh, like raster and, and that kind of thing. We really want to prioritize things the, the right way what the community wants. Uh, we need input on that, of course. So uh, we are really eager to, to, to listen to what people want, and we, we are able to shuffle our priorities a bit to, to, uh, to match what, what people actually request. Um, let me go to upgrade issues uh, before I, I can take some questions in the end as well, just to make sure that I've spoken about this and no one is no going to complain that I didn't tell you, um, because we have upgrade issues. Um, the first and simplest one is that EPSD datasets is it's latitude first, longitude second. Uh, we decide to follow all these uh, standards and recommendations that says, yes, you should take that into account. And so we did. But we did add the manual override because we know that people will be really angry if we didn't. Um, we saw the MySQL, let the, uh, the Microsoft SQL Server uh, thing happen. And, uh, and, uh, but we still, we want to try to be standard compliant, but we, we see a need for, for the manual override. The problem is that it's only available in MySQL 8 at the moment, so you can't do it before you upgrade. But uh, on the good side, the storage format is still longitude first, latitude second. I know people use that in MySQL 5.7. Uh, we actually had a few functions that expected that. And that storage format is exactly the same now as it used to be. Um, SRD0 is, of course, the safe choice if you, because that's the only thing that MySQL 5 actually supports. So if you say it's SRD0, then you're safe in the upgrade. Um, and then the bad thing, you had to recreate indexes, all of them, uh, R3 indexes. Uh, the reason is really quite simple. It's back to the same 5.7 ignores SRD thing. You could insert uh, geometries of different SRDs into the same column and into the same index. And, and 5.7 just treated that as, oh yeah, it's Cartesian, it's fine, I can just do math on that. But in MySQL 8, we actually care about the SRD. So suddenly you have geographic and Cartesian data in the same index, and it doesn't make sense. So you actually have to enforce something there. I can show you the way we do that. Can create a table with a very inventive name. Uh, geometry not null spatial index G. Okay, so I'm creating a column, a table with one column, geometry column. Uh, it's uh, indexed. Uh, with Nautry, and I immediately get a warning saying that, hey, 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 we allow you to do this because uh, we have to support kind of dump restore upgrades. We have to be kind of SQL compatible between versions, but we won't ever use this index uh, because you haven't locked it to one specific SRID. So if I fix this by dropping to first, and I can. I can specify that this column is in SRD 4326, then it's fine. And now I can insert it's fine. I can try with a different SRD. Even if it's just swapped long longitude latitude, it's a different SRD, so I can't insert it. Um, and this is the reason why we actually had to recreate all these indexes in, uh, in ADO. Uh, luckily, we can say that, that the user base on GS isn't that big yet, so we can actually do this because uh, the support for, for proper geometry and geography is, is uh, very recent, so we can actually do this jump now and, and fix this uh, really in the beginning of, of our work. 
Um, I want to say that if you want to learn more about MySQL in, in general, but uh, spatial as well, uh, we develop a new blog at MySQLServerTeam.com. So uh, I know people are nagging me to blog more there and then write about this. So I, yes, I will write more about the details of this. Uh, and uh, you will find stuff about how things are done in MySQL. Uh, it's slightly different from, for instance, Postgres, just if you come from that world, because standards have evolved since Postgres in, implemented these things. For instance, the, uh, the name of the table, the, uh, the uh, view we had, uh, like the the name is st spatial references, not uh, spatial references, which is in Postgres. Because the standards have evolved, they have changed the names, they have modified things a bit. Uh, they even changed the uh, the column names for a th few things. So we are based on a more recent standard than Postgres, and that makes for a few differences in in implementation. Um, yeah. Uh, are there any questions about the whole general thing? I thought about a few more on, on geometry, geography before I, I cut it off and start on on upgrades. So if there are any questions now. Yes? It is a double precision floating point. So then again it comes back to the unit you are using which is part of this definition. So. Here, for instance, there's uh, degrees and the conversion factor to radians, right? So if you have a unit that is really, really small or big, then you end up with precision issues. But I don't think you will get a lot of precision issues if you stick to kind of normal, uh, normal things. But uh, yeah, um, it's double precision floating points. It's typically enough for, for most use cases. We know that the, because of the math involved, uh, uh, it's just the nature of things that, uh, that computations are more uh, accurate around uh, zero, zero than at the close to the poles and, and uh, at the ends of, of uh, or kind of the anti-meridian. Uh, that's just because of the math, the folding points and range and, and that kind of thing. But I don't think you will ever get into to problems with real data. This. We can we can certainly produce some weird results by specifically going in on the the machine epsilon difference and and, and trying to create problems for ourselves. That's certainly possible. We have we have several cases of that, but real data we haven't seen anything anything uh, causing problems. I think we have time for more one more question at least. No. Thank you for listening. <laughs>